How you doing everybody? Nick DiVirgilio here to talk to you about this really great kick drum pedal. This is the Tama Iron Cobra HP 900 PSN Power Glide with Cobra Coil. There's so many great features on this pedal. It's really smooth feeling and a lot of patents made for just this pedal. Uh, it feels great and uh, very easy to play. Uh, so many professional drummers out there in the world play Tama Iron Cobra pedals and Tama really goes to many lengths try and make the smoothest yet powerful uh, with lots of finesse kick drum pedals out there and uh, this definitely gives you all of those things lots of great features and I'll get into some of those for you right now so as the name states the power glide is in the cam right here this is an offset cam with a double chain and it just really increases finesse and power the way the cam is offset from the pedal board underneath it really really nice feature and uh, smooth under the feet for sure Another cool feature is the self-adjusting beater head here. It is on there pretty tight, but you loosen it up with this tension screw right in here in the back of the beater head. And what it does is that it moves back and forth just a little, if you can see that, and back to the center. What that does is sometimes kick drums, you know, we tilt them back a little bit so they don't move forward when you're on a, a stage with no carpet or anything like that. So wherever the angle of your kick drum is, you can have it so the beater head hits it completely flush. And that's a really nice feature. More great features are the Cobra coil, which is underneath the pedal board right here. This is a nice patented feature that only comes on Tama pedals. And what that does is it helps get the pedal board back to its original position. You don't have to over tighten the spring on the side of the housing here to get your pedal to come back after you make the stroke. The Cobra Coil helps get push it back up to the right starting position every time. And it's even, they make everything adjustable on this pedal. Even the Cobra Coil is adjustable with this tension screw right here. It goes back and forth and you can get it to the exact position. Really right out of the box, it feels good. But if you want to adjust it, they made it so you can for sure. A couple more really cool features that eliminate a lot of friction on kick drum pedals is they, they call it their Speedo Ring. Usually old school pedals had nylon rings here and with this kind of quick hook they call it it comes right off the speedo ring right there you don't have to unscrew or use a tension rod or a lug anything like that it just comes on and off so easy just like that and this metal ring along with this quick hook release there's no friction at all when the pedal goes back and forth you can see it moving it's really really smooth Tama came up with this unique tension rod underneath the spring right here. It's actually a half moon shape. It's not completely round. And with the way these locking bolts underneath the rod stay in place, it just stays in place. Wherever you des desire to put your spring tension, it locks in place because of that half moon design and these great tighteners here, and it just stays. So all of these things together with the speedo ring and the quick release and these half moon design tension rods, it just stays where you put it. Nice. If you want to adjust the angle of the beater, it's really simple. You get this trusty drum key that comes right on the side of the pedal there. Stick it right there. You just loosen it up and you can put the beater angle wherever you like. There's actually lines on the speedo ring right here. So you can actually adjust it little by little if you want to and get it just specific and exactly where you want in two seconds. A couple more features that just add to the finesse and the touch of this pedal is the oils bearing hinge back here in the back. You can't really see it, but it's doing its job. It's just smooth as silk, makes absolutely no noise, and it's a patented feature that Tama made for this pedal. And finally, before I put this kick drum pedal on the kick drum and show you how it feels underneath my foot, let me show you this clamp here. They call it their paraclamp, and it's a really cool, unique clamp because it adjusts to the size of the kick drum hoop. Hoops are always a little bit thicker or thinner, depending on the drum that you're playing. And this one's really nice because it adjusts with this knob here on the top. You can get it as wide as you need so you don't damage your kick drum hoop at all. Put it back on and then you tighten this first. Get it kind of tight on the kick drum hoop and then you have, you can really tighten it down with the wing nut here. So it's a great, it's just a cool little feature to add to all of the great features of this kick drum pedal. So now with all that being said, let me stick it on the kick drum and just show you how it feels and how it plays. All right, so I've put the pedal on the kick drum, 
Just give you a quick overview of how it feels and how it plays underneath the feet. Again, it's a very smooth feeling pedal. And let me show you here this beater too. Like I said, while I was holding the pedal in my hand, this beater is adjustable. Right now, it's flush on the kick drum head. But if I needed to, just a little tilt back. See how much it's tilted back right there? So you can have your kick drum tilted back as far as you want. All right, so this is a really smooth feeling kick drum. Check this out. Now the coil underneath the foot plate, the footboard, you really don't feel, which is nice. You, it just helps get that foot plate back underneath your foot. So really, you don't even know it's there. It's a nice feature. Uh, this pedal is definitely smooth enough to play both styles with your heel down. Heel up, you get nice power and attack on the head. And I'm hitting that pretty hard and it doesn't feel like really much of anything underneath my foot, which is really, really nice. Doing double strokes from the back of the foot plate up to the front of the foot plate is nice. The foot plate is smooth enough for that kind of stuff. There's so many fast drummers these days that have their feet can do incredible things. But this pedal and the foot plate is smooth enough to do this, the technique where your heel's going back and forth. And if you have two kick drums, that's a great technique. So just imagine your left foot doing the same thing. Get some really nice double strokes going on there. The offset cam uh, definitely gives you enough power to get those loud strokes, but it's definitely sensitive enough to, all, to do all the soft stuff as well. And all the strokes feel pretty much the same, you know? So it's, it's a really nice pedal with a lot of great features and uh, definitely can't go wrong. And in closing, before I leave you today, you also get this really sturdy pedal case. It's plastic, but it's very hard. Uh, it'll keep your pedal safe if, even if you drop it off the back of the truck as you're going down the road, your pedal will still be in good shape when you pick it back up. It says Iron Cobra on it right there. Nice place to have your pedal live when you're not using it for sure. All right, everybody, if you're looking for a really smooth, great playing pedal that will last you a lifetime, all great high-end features, this Tama Iron Cobra HP 900 PSN Power Glide pedal could definitely be a great option for you to check out. If you need any more information about this Tama kick drum pedal, just contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. <laughs>